guys, what's up? It's Joe Reddy from Reddy's Rides. I'm back here at Walker Ford, sunny Clearwater, Florida, and this is one that I know that you guys have been waiting for. We have the all new 2020 Ford Explorer, totally redesigned, but guess what? This is the ST version. The first time that those two letters have been attached to the Explorer. So let's talk a little bit about Ford Explorer history. The first generation of the Ford Explorer actually hit the scene back in 1991, if you could believe that. Over the years, not only has the Explorer changed, but also the SUV environment and what manufacturers are producing. With this 2020 Ford Explorer, Ford is trying to get you covered from stem to stern with your seven passenger SUV capability because yes, this has those three rows to get maximum people inside of an SUV. This one particular, the ST, that sports technology organization, it's part of Ford Performance. Ford Performance, it used to be called SVT, now it's Ford Performance. You got the Ford GT, the GT500, the GT350 and 350R, the Fiesta ST, the Edge ST, and this Explorer ST all fall under that Ford Performance banner. And guess what? Performance is the name of the game. 400 horsepower, all wheel drive, getting you down to the ground. Let's go ahead, dive into this 2020 Ford Explorer ST. So all new for 2020, we have a totally updated headlight design. I really like the shape of the headlight housing really great bright led light you're going to get as we drop down i think it was really smart how they put another level of lighting down here and these are functional air curtains if you'll notice they didn't put like a bunch of gloss black plastic some nice simple flat black the rest is painted in that beautiful black shade of color a little bit of flat black across the midsection really aggressive especially the open grill. I like the design, I like the shape of it. There's that ST badge. I wish they would have made the ST badge just a little bit larger, especially at the front end of the business here, but still very nicely done with bringing a lot of air. Because remember, underneath that hood, twin turbocharged engine, 400 horsepower. Now, as we go up onto the hood, you'll see the Explorer badging. I'm not a big fan of the emblems being stuck to the hood, but because this is black, it blends in. If this was white, it would stick out like a sore thumb. I would like to see them recessed into the hood. So that is gonna be a zong, but all black, it looks hot. You can see the very distinctive body lines that they've done on the new hood. I like the way that they recess the second, the middle section here. It really gives it such a distinctive look to it. Let's go ahead and go around the side because you're gonna see some big changes, especially because this is an ST. Now, little touches. They put the Explorer name right in that headlight housing. Very nice touch. And as we drop down, these are the standard wheels for the ST. Now, there is an optional wheel and brake package, high performance brake package with these 21 inch wheels, but this is a 21 inch, uh, excuse me, 20 inch wheel brushed aluminum with the gloss black. They're using Michelin tires, which is a great tire setup. 255 on the width, and we're talking about a 55 series tire. I like the flat black that comes from the front, goes around the fender well, very distinctive body lines. Now, as we go down the side, they took the black paint, spilled it onto the mirrors. Very nice slim and trim light, uh, lighting that they have. And as we go down, let me show you some of the body lines. So. Very distinctive line down on near the lower sill. I like the way that they went with some flat black. Helps bring it in. You got the Explorer name embossed into that flat black. As we come down, black roof rails really just blends it all in together. Makes it look extra sinister, almost like a police interceptor. Speaking of police interceptor, before we go any further, underneath those fenders, front and rear is the suspension off of the police interceptor. So it's gonna be heavier duty, thicker anti-sway bars, control arms, the whole shabam. If you wanna take it to the next level, you can get that performance brake package. I wish this one had it, but you know what? As soon as Walker Ford gets one, we'll be bringing it to you. But you have that awesome all-wheel drive. All other Explorers are gonna be, for the first time, rear-wheel drive. So no more front-wheel drive. We're bringing it back to rear-wheel drive. Come to the back of the car, very nicely shaped rear quarter window coming into the back. Love the LED uh, taillights. 
like what they did with the back of the vehicle, especially the exhaust. Quad tip, now I am gonna zonk it, but it is for a reason. These are actually dummy pipes. The exhaust empties out the, out the bottom. I guess there was a situation with fumes getting into the back area. So what they did was is they actually have the outlets exit on the bottom. These are not functional. So very, very interesting. You can see that back hatch area open up. Very fascinating how that just happened. But I really just like the flat black, the quad exhaust, and you'll see tons of room inside, but we're not ready for that. We're gonna go ahead and pop the hood and see what kind of power is underneath the hood of this Explorer ST. All right, guys, we got the hood popped of the 2020 Ford Explorer ST. Underneath the hood at the ST trim, that is that three liter EcoBoost engine. So it's a three liter V6 twin turbocharged. So you're looking at 400 horsepower, 415 pound feet of torque. If you compare this to the outgoing Explorer Sport, it has 35 more horsepower. Of course, it's gonna be mated to that slick shifting, 10 speed automatic transmission, zero to 60 in about five seconds flat, quarter mile at 13.6. It has a top speed of 143 miles an hour and it weighs about 4,750 pounds. Now, if you're wondering about MPGs, 17 in the city, 23 on the highway, What's really wild is when you look at the engine, there's no engine cover. You could actually see the engine there, and you'll also notice the massive, massive strut tower brace that's gonna stiffen up the front end of this Explorer. Just like I said, it's got the police interceptor suspension set up that's beefier. You need a little bit more to kind of just connect everything together and keep it nice and solid. But why don't we go ahead, fire up this Explorer ST and see what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Explorer ST. Like I said, a lot of performance, a lot of refinements, a lot of changes. Now, I know you're probably wondering, Joe, I'm liking this ST, this Explorer ST. How much does it cost? MSRP is around $58,000 and change. Now, you can option that brake performance package, which is gonna give you the 21 inch wheels and whatnot. This one does have the optional panoramic sunroof, which we'll get to in a second, but let's see the changes for 2020 to the door panels. I like what they've done with bringing in some colors. So you have the nice brushed aluminum on the speaker covers. I really like the extra silver on the door handle to, to open the door. And I like the white contrast stitching. I think that was smart to just bring in a little bit more flavor and design to the style of the door panel. I wish they would have done that bottom speaker cover with the brushed aluminum. So I am gonna zonk that, but overall, the door's got a nice touch and look to it. Now, when it comes to touch, soft material, I think it's great what they did with the AC vents. You get a little bit of this texture material, sort of like a, a carbon fiber, faux carbon fiber look. It really doesn't look um, too cheap, which is great. It has a nice feel to it. Now, here's the big surprise. We have a 12 inch vertical style screen Obviously, you're gonna have navigation. This has the upgraded sync system. What I like about this is that by having it vertical, a lot of that hard black plastic that used to be around the other one is not present, obviously. You could get into your home screen very quickly. You could have multiple things showing. You could have your navigation, your stereo, whatever you wanna do, and it's very quick reacting. So that definitely is a huge plus no glare whatsoever. As we come down, you have very simple radio controls. I like the brushed aluminum feel around the knobs. We also have cameras. You got full 360 degree camera with this. It's gonna allow you to do whatever you need to, to see out front, see all around you 360 degree, keep you safe in the parking lots and whatnot. So very nicely done by Ford there. Little bit of harder plastic here, but if you notice, it's not too large some gloss black around the heated and ventilated seat controls, and these are your AC controls. So you can see we got dual climate. I'm gonna go ahead and put the ventilated seats on. As we drop down, I like what's going on here. I like the silver, and I like the way they put a lid. You open it up, nice 
cubby down here, you got USB, you got a 12 volt in there. When you're not using it, you close it up. It looks great, it's finished. This is the rotary dial that's gonna be controlling that 10 speed automatic. Guess what? The new GT500 has the same rotary dial transmission. Now it's not a 10 speed, it's a seven speed DCT, but you can say, hey, when you shift, you're shifting just like a GT500. This one does have different modes that you could go into with manual control. There's paddles on the back of the steering wheel. You have an electric e-brake, drive modes. And I'm gonna show you more of the drive modes when you come over here, but you have different drive modes. Two cup holders, a little cubby. We open up the armrest, wireless charging. So your actual wireless charging is here. How smart is that? Large tray to put pretzels or snacks, whatever you want while you're hauling the kids down the twisty road. And then you get another 12 volt in there, nicely done. But I like the material and I like the stitching. Seats, look great. Got the ST embossed in the back. I love the white stitching and they're very comfortable. The back really holding me well. I'm six feet tall and I feel great in here. Even with the panoramic sunroof, lots of room. But why don't you come on over to the business end and I'll show you some fancy tech that's going on over here. All right guys, business end behind the wheel of this 2020 Explorer ST. Little touches, I like the Ford Performance badging down on the sill. You could see that once you go from there, it actually has full electric assist seats. Really get it perfect to the contours of your specific body type. Steering wheel, dead sexy. Ford hit the nail on the head with the steering wheel. Thickness, perfect. Stitching, amazing. ST badge, just to let you know you're in something special. I love the trim around it. Remember, with the Ford Performance branded of cars, you get a free day at uh, the Ford Performance Racing School in Utah. You get yourself out there, they'll have specially prepared Explorer STs just for you to push to the limits out on the track there. So this thing is capable, the most capable Explorer to date. So, but I love the steering wheel, dash. Check out that, that is a thing of beauty. I love the font, the graphics, everything. When you go to the different drive modes, it actually changes. So you got normal, look at that, it's a nice, normal, sunny day. The dash comes back into play. You keep spinning that dial. Now we're gonna go into eco. We're gonna save the environment, green leaves, really nice. You keep turning that wheel and that's gonna take us to sport. Now we're gonna turn up the wick. You see the checkered flag logo there? Really, really nicely done. Look how the tack has changed. So you have the tack over here, and then you have your speedometer over there, nicely placed as you're hitting your marks, and then you keep going. You got tow haul set up for this. Yes, you can tow with your Explorer ST, and look how the gauges change. But while I'm definitely gonna leave it in the sport setting, for sure, because that not only is what I'm all about, but I love how great it looks. Another thing, like I said, the paddles on the back of the wheel, I'm gonna zonk them. They're really cheap plastic and they're small. I wish they were a little larger because once you're getting the business done, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're hitting those paddles. But why don't we go ahead, check out the mid row and see how comfortable your passengers are gonna be as you're apexing those turns. All right guys, mid row time in the seven passenger Ford Explorer ST. Lots of great materials back here. Now what's nice is, is they went a little thicker on the captain's chair armrest, so I'm not gonna zonk that, and I do like the stitching. So that's a really nice feature, the nice stitching you got going on. As we come to the front here, you could see our little command center. So you got your AC controls with that same nice silver finish. You see I turn it on. You have a home power source, and you have your USBs, and a little cubby, so you can actually charge it and put your phone down here. It's a little hard to see, but there's cup holders and a great storage area right here. These seats obviously are gonna slide forward and backwards, and they're also gonna recline. Plus being nice and tall, still plenty of headroom back here. You have your rear AC vents placed nicely up high. I know some people don't want that. I know they want it more down low, but that's the placement for here. But very, very comfortable. Why don't we go ahead and see a person like myself, six feet tall, get in that third row. All right guys, time to check out that third row. What's it like to get in the back? You press a button right on the top of the wheel, uh, excuse me, on top of the wheel, top of the seat, it slides forward. Now we're gonna go ahead and climb on in. So we get into the back of the Explorer ST, and you know what? It's actually pretty not 
it's not too bad back here. There's actually a pretty good amount of space. The seat is actually comfortable. Still plastic back here. I don't know why the third row has to suffer and not have some nice leather appointments, but you got cup holders, nicely placed. I would like to see some type of USB back here. I think at this price point, $58,000, the third row needs to have a USB, one on each side. But one thing that's very interesting is how low uh, the seat is to the floor. So it's kind of making my legs bend a little bit more because I am taller. But if you notice, plenty of headroom. They kind of notched out the inside of the headliner in here. You got your rear AC for the third row. So that's really wonderful. But why don't we go ahead, check out the cargo area and see how much can you fit in the back of an Explorer ST. All right, guys, time to check out the cargo area in your Explorer ST or really all 2020 Explorers. Nice electric assist, it goes up fast. You can see you got a great amount of room for the soccer gear, for the stroller. Maybe you're a golf player and you got your golf clubs back there. You lift this up, there's storage underneath. You can hide maybe your wife's Christmas gift, hide it under there, maybe she won't find it. My advice is hide it there for a while, then find a better place. But great to have storage there. Seats are up, how do we get the seats down? Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually trade places with O'Neill. You'll see we have nice 12 volt LED lighting. All we're gonna do is, is we're gonna hit some buttons. So we press that, down goes one. We could press this one, down goes the other one. So very nicely done how nice and flat it is. And you could see the amount of room that we have back there. And then of course, those captain's chairs are gonna fold flat and you'll have tons of space. But it's about that time, if you're ready, I'm ready to go find out what is 400 horsepower in an Explorer feel like. Let's go take it for a spin. All right, guys, we're in the 2020 Explorer ST. This is exciting because, like I said, I've seen the car at the Detroit and New York Auto Show. This is the first one in the area, of course, only at Walker Ford. Love the driving position right off the bat. It's got electric uh, tilt and telescoping steering wheel. The infotainment system, uh, I'm digging it. it. It really is crystal clear. I like the placement and I love the digital dash arrangement. I have it in sport mode, so that means that everything has got a nice red color to it. And we're gonna get the most out of this Explorer ST with the 400 horsepower and all wheel drive. So from 12 miles an hour, get on the loud pedal, drops down. Now you're getting a nice sound created inside the cabin, which is really great. And I don't know if you noticed, when I got out of the throttle, you hear how we're still in uh, a, low, a higher gear. So what that means is, is that the RPMs are up a little bit more. So when you get back on throttle, you're gonna get ready to rock and roll. I can feel right off the bat, after driving a 2019 Explorer Sport, the suspension is definitely set up more to handle around those twisty corners where you live or go and do a track day in this thing. Um, like I said, over at Salt Lake City, Utah, at the Ford Performance Racing School, they have a class for people who purchase their ST uh, Explorer brand new where they will take you out on the track and they have all these other skills and drills to show you the uh, limitations of the car in a safe environment where everything's placed, makes sense. And you can see that with that rotary dial transmission, it cleans up that whole center console area. I like the fit and finish everywhere I touch, especially the steering wheel. I'm a big proponent of steering wheels being a good size and a good shape. This really hits the nail on the head. I wish that my Ford Focus RS that I recently got rid of happened to have this steering wheel. The steering wheel on that one was just a little too thin gauge cluster in front of you the graphics are great the font is great it looks very similar to what is in the mustang when you option that in but very very smooth dig in the sound get on throttle and she just she just pulls not a lot of lag because you have those two smaller turbos to that three liter ecoboost engine and i really like the way it holds on to that gear and that lets you know that when you're ready to, to accelerate again, you're right in the sweet spot. You don't have to wait for that transmission to drop back down. So that's a really, really great thing. You can put it into manual mode and then you could shift with the paddles. I'm just gonna leave it in automatic because probably 99.999999% of the people who buy one of these are probably just gonna leave it in automatic because that 10 speed 
is such a great shifting transmission. If I'm gonna zonk the interior, I think where they place the start stop button, not really the best place. It's kind of like cramped and hidden uh, out of the way. And then this black plastic, this flat plastic around the AC controls and the radio controls is, I, I wish they would have used more of the faux carbon fiber that they were going with. I think that would have just made it a little bit higher upscale look to it. But definitely the silver here, they hit the nail on the head. I'm glad that they went with the silver finish there. Armrest, perfect height, like the door armrest. And I like the brushed aluminum um, speaker covers. Really nice touch. All right, guys, we're going to do a little highway driving here. We're going to merge. Merging in this thing is a piece of pie. Normally, I would say cake, but I, I like pie better. But anyways, very easy to just get into traffic. The sight over the hood is perfect. I like the way you can still see some of the hood. But those body lines I was telling you about, especially that recessed body line in the center, really gives the hood a great shape. Very nicely done. We got the panoramic sunroof. Uh, shade open which is letting in a lot of light which is great because the interior is a little on the darker side but you know what I think that's good for definitely the sportiness of an ST I'll go ahead and we'll try a different mode I'll put it into uh, normal real quick here as we get off the highway and what that's gonna do is that's gonna adjust those um, shift points that's gonna adjust how the car behaves uh, the Explorer behaves compared to uh, where we were at with sport. So that's the nice thing about this is you could tailor it exactly to however you want to have your driving, but we're going to leave it in sport because that's really where I want to be uh, tailored. So on throttle, on the brakes, into this left-hand bend, that all-wheel drive keeps us planted, keeps us feeling good. Got to wait for merging cars here and we're going to roll on out. Very smooth. The, the car accelerates. Even though it has that weight factor to it, it accelerates very, very quickly without any fuss. I mean, it's so smooth. And another thing that's wonderful is that the sound deadening material has really quiet up this whole cabin area. Feels really good. And of course, you're gonna have all those safety features to make sure that you're gonna make it home each and every day, get the kids back and forth to school and whatnot, and you're gonna be doing it in a high performance SUV like this uh, Explorer ST for sure. It's really, really nicely done. But let's go ahead and see if we can get a little bit of space here into this left-hand bend. At all-wheel drive, doing the business. Look at this, nice. Really, really nicely done. If you notice, the back end it allows the, it's transferring the power. So it's very, very similar to the all wheel drive setup in an RS. Not the same mechanics behind it, but it's transferring that power front to rear to make sure that you're gonna be able to get around that, that corner. And what it did was it allowed the back end of the Explorer to come out just a little bit to square up the corner and point us like a rocket so that we could come out of that bend. Very, very nice setup on this thing brakes feel great and remember you can option in the better brake package but very very smooth it holds a line so nicely it's really really set up to where you know that the engineers did the business on getting this thing to handle so well what's cool too is is since i got to drive the 2020 ford explorer police interceptors this handles just like it so when ford says that they took the suspension bits off of the police interceptor, they're not exaggerating one bit. This thing handles just like the police interceptor. And if you haven't seen that vid video, you definitely gotta watch it because they had a autocross track for us and we got to whip them around there and they were a blast and just mind blowing on how well they handle. But we'll do one last go around just for you guys, just to get a feel on this Explorer ST on throttle, on the brakes, nicely done, turn in. Holding that line, very nice, on throttle. Look at this, look at this. Crazy that we're in a full-size SUV, three-row capability. You can have all your friends in here and give them a ride of the lifetime in this Explorer. That's how amazing this thing is. And then at the end of the day, when you're done, you can put it right back into normal mode and just 
cruise on home like you didn't do anything. But anyways, we're gonna wrap this one up. Hopefully you got a good taste, a good feel for the 2020, not only the 2020 Explorer, but also of course, this special one, the Explorer ST. But we're gonna get back to Walker Ford and we're gonna wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, it's been another wonderful day here at Walker Ford. I know that you guys have loved this 2020 Ford Explorer ST and it's very interesting to see where Ford is putting that performance now since they've got rid of their car lineup. But I definitely gotta give a huge thank you to Frank Walker, Weston Walker, Tracy, Mark, Benji, everybody here so accommodating, getting the latest 2020s for you here on Radies Rides. If these are the types of things you like to see on the channel, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new to the Radies Rides and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on Radies Rides, click the link in the description, get yourself some Radies Rides merch. Every little bit helps. Speaking of help, I got O'Neill here getting this Explorer ST on camera. He had a blast during the drive. He really wants to get an SUV with all wheel drive and 400 horsepower now. Who wouldn't? So thank you, O'Neill, for all your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.